the next fill in the blank there says the Stockdale Paradox, if you'd write that in. Do we have any Vietnam veterans in the room? Okay, salute you. You probably obviously know Admiral James Stockdale. During the Vietnam conflict, he was the highest ranking prisoner of war. But one of my reasons for telling this story is there's people sitting right next to you right now going through stuff with their family, going through stuff with their kids or their finances or with burnout. You have no clue. Is that true? And if you're not going through anything right now, guess what? It's coming. Is that right? And the Stockdale paradox was fascinating because he was asked, Admiral, what kind of person didn't survive that prisoner of war camp experience, right? And Stockdale said, oh, that's easy, the optimists. That doesn't follow. We've all been taught in a tough situation, you've got to maintain a positive what? Attitude. He goes, what would happen is the, they'd be so optimistic, they'd get captured in the middle of the year and they'd say, hey, you watch this, I'll be out of here by when? Christmas, let's say. Christmas would come and go and they're still there, what would happen? Oh, man. But they're optimistic. You watch. The anniversary of my capture. I'll be out of here. Still there. He said they die of a broken heart. The Stockdale paradox is this. They'd get to him, and they, this is basically the way they'd have to do, Dave. They'd have to get you day one in the camp and say, you know what, Dave? You ain't getting out of here by Christmas. <laughs> it's not going to happen. You better deal with that win. Right now. Here's the Stockdale paradox. Here's the key. Everybody's in different stages of their life right now. The Stockdale Paradox says this, if you're in a situation where you're not sure whether you can turn it around, here's step number one. It says this, I retain absolute what? You got to retain absolute faith. No matter what coming at you, Bill, you can handle it. Is that true? Retain absolute faith. You can and will prevail regardless of the difficulties. To take it from good to great, the number one step is this, I must confront the brutal, the brutal facts of the current situation, and then you better be willing to what, everybody? Act on the implications.